We're going to find the critical points of f of x is equal to x cubed minus 9x squared plus 24x minus 10. Uh, now, yes, I gave you the picture, so it's pretty clear what they are. They're 2 and 4, but we're going to do this mathematically, okay, because they're not always so pretty, and you're not you're rarely given the picture. So what we just deemed was critical points occur where the derivative is equal to zero. So let's take the derivative. So 3x squared minus 18x plus 24. We need to find where that's equal to zero. It is a quadratic, so we know that there's going to be factoring involved. Well, guess what? There's a GCF as well. That makes life a lot easier. Take out a 3, we're left with x squared minus 6x plus 8. And that factors into x minus 4 times x minus 2. 3 never equals 0, so we don't have to worry about that piece. So we get that at 4 and at 2, those are our critical points. 2 and 4 are the critical points. Part B, find, huh? Okay, so this is where, okay? X is any time you see the word where, it's referring to the X values. Well, good. Good. Find the values of the function, okay? Um, or th this is also the what question. What is the max slash min value? I'm emphasizing that because um, that's how questions will be asked and people get the x's and the y's mixed up, okay? If they ask where, they're asking for the x's. If they're asking what, they're asking for the y's. Okay, so we know the x values now. We just need to go back to the original function and plug them in. Yes. What is y? Uh, right now, yes. Yes, you plug it into the original. Because you want to know the y value of the original. Uh, I'm mixing up numbers. Okay, four cubed is sixty four. Reminder, exponents come from before multiplication. So that's 4 squared is 16, not 9 times 4 is 36, and square 36. Okay, and 24 times 4, yes, I'm trying to do this without a calculator. That would be 96. Um, 54, I'm just combining the 64 and the minus 10. 9 times 16, 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 1 is 9, 144. 150 minus 144 is 6. Did I do that correctly? Thank you. 8 minus 9 times 4 is 36. This one's not quite so hard. 56 minus 46, so that f of 2 is 10. Okay, and judging by the picture, that makes sense. f of 2 is a higher value than f of 4, um, so 10 is greater than 6. We are good. All right. So, um, let's look at example 2. Example 2 asks us to find the critical points of f of x equals the absolute value of x. Now, clearly, we can see that this occurs at 0. Okay, but let's use our derivative uh, concept. Okay, 
The derivative of the absolute value, who can tell me what it is? Yep. Okay, the derivative times the original over the absolute value. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, um, technically, we're not differentiable at zero. Okay, this is not differentiable at zero. If we set this function equal to zero, x over the absolute value of x. Um, now, I caution you to not, when you've got something like this, don't just multiply by the denominator and eliminate it. Okay, you've got to consider the numerator equal to zero and the denominator equal to zero. Obviously, in this case, they give you the same value that x equals zero. Okay, um, that will come into play later. It really doesn't matter too much right now, but that will come into play later. You need to consider when the derivative, when the uh, numerator is equal to zero, because that's where your derivative equals zero. And you need to consider where the denominator equals zero because that's where your uh, derivative is undefined. Those could be, in this case, they're the same, but those could be two different places. Okay, they could be two different places.